How to install Microsoft OneNote for Mac 2011 and how to share it. The first thing we have to do is to download Microsoft OneNote, which means we need to go to the App Store. Here we go, type in OneNote, and here we go. We need to install this. Get and install app. This may take some time. That took a good 10 minutes to install. We need to open it and we get this window here. Welcome to OneNote. The first thing we need to do is make sure we're saving this on the cloud. This means we can easily share it with other people and access it from multiple computers. This does mean, however, we must have a Microsoft account. If you have a Hotmail address, you can sign in using that. If you don't, you do need to create an account. In my case, I can sign in. I'll stop this for a minute, enter my password and then my second stage authentication and then be back. It accepted my username and password, which you may have had to create. Start using OneNote. I now have a OneNote that will synchronize on the cloud to many different computers. I'm now going to create a new OneNote folder. New folder, I'll pick green. Title. This can be important. I ask my students to all use the same naming system so they sit alphabetically in my shared folder. Once this is done, create. Right, I've created my notebook in OneNote on the cloud. Righty ho, you now need to share your newly created OneNote folder with me, your teacher. Up here, share with. Invite people, me here. You need to use my Hotmail address to do this. Here we go. That's it. Can edit. Yes, so I can edit as well. And then click on the share button. This now should be shared with me. You're now ready to start using it and good luck.